50 years, the League of Women Voters of Wilmette has worked with eighth grade students throughout the village to provide the opportunity to learn about the workings of local government. Students have worked closely with representatives from the boards of the village, the library, the park district, and our two K through eighth school boards, District 37 and District 39, to understand firsthand how they function. Today, students from District 39 will conduct a mock meeting of the Village of Wilmette Board of Trustees. On behalf of the League of Women Voters of Wilmette, we thank District 39, especially Eric Rhesus and Aaron Shores, and the Village President, Village of Wilmette Trustees, the Village Manager, and staff, especially John Presner, for making the League's Student and Government Leaders Program possible. Thank you. Thank you. I call to order this regular meeting of the Wilmette Board of Trustees here at the Village Hall at 7.30 on February 21st. Uh, Trustee uh, Herschel will now lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Invisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I will now call the roll. Trustee Garou, here. Trustee Jack Hershley, here. Trustee Parker Hershley, here. Trustee Mosier, here. Trustee Mitty, here. Trustee Semple, here. Trustee Smith, here. A quorum is present and we may continue. <coughs> Today will be a regular meeting of the board discussing capital improvement projects for the fiscal year of 2019. There are 10 projects in total, five departments, and a budget of $400,000. We will first hear from the Engineering and Public Works Department. Unfortunately, the presenter could not be here tonight. However, the salt brine machine for $71,000 and the large dump truck for $177,000 are still up for approval. We will next hear from the Police Department. Hello. The police of Wilmette propose a deal for a renewal of four Ford squad cars. The police department uses 10 marked squad vehicles for daily protocol and emergency response activities. The vehicles are equipped with a laptop computer, moving radar equipment, and a forward-facing video camera. The estimated cost of the vehicle includes $8,000 for LED emergency light bars, exterior police markings, and miscellaneous parts needed to install major components. When these vehicles are replaced, the laptops, radar, and video equipment will be replaced as well. Four squad cars have a total of 125 breakdowns, so this is just another justification that we need newer squad cars. The estimated price for the four squad cars is $156,000. If not four, at least two cars because they will keep on breaking down and we need new ones. And the, um, the other project? They also propose an upgrade in our 911 emergency system for $15,000 to save more money in future and keep our town safe. The current network can't locate wireless phones or voice over internet protocol calls, receive text messages or images slash video. A new nationwide next-gen 911 network is in the process of being developed. The state of Illinois has hired a consultant to design and implement a statewide emergency service information network. This would cost around $15,000, 15, yeah, $15,000. To update the ESI net, or at such, that, at such time that the ESI net has been deployed by the state of Illinois, 2019 or beyond, there would be a software upgrade and configuration required in order for our current 911 telephone system to function on the next-gen 911. Instead of getting the 911, an alternative to getting the next-gen 911 system, we could continue to use our current system without betting, benefiting from the next-gen 911 system. Great, thank you. I will now open it up for questions. Trustees? Uh, yes, I have a question. Are, are those projects es essential for this year? Well, the squad cars keep on breaking down, so it would be essential to have at least two new squad cars. And if we did not get a new 911 system, we could keep on using our old one, but it would not benefit from using the new one. If we were to not purchase the squad cars tonight, would that mean that we would have to purchase additional ones at next year's meeting? Probably, yes. All right, um, thank you. We will now bring the Administrative Services Director. Um, hello, trustees. 
Uh, tonight, I have two proposals to make. Um, the first one being the um, utility billing software update. This is the software relating to utility bills, specifically the ones calculating and um, administrating them. Um, the current software we have is called the UB Classic software, and this was imp implemented in 2015. But um, since then, the company has the company that made that, called the Moonis Company, has made a new software called the UB Classic CIS. Uh, we should update um, to the UB Classic CIS because um, the CIS has um, a lot of functionalities that we don't. For example, it um, it there's a search system, and for example, if someone was to call in and ask. Uh, questions about their utility bills, customer service could be greatly improved. Um, as well, the Moonis company has stopped updating the UB Classic, the one we own, but rather it updates the um, UB Classic CIS. This will cost $24,750, and without this, Wilmette residents may have to wait longer to solve problems relating to utility building, billing. The other project? Oh, um, yes. Um, it's the auto visual, visual upgrade, and this will cost $80,000. Um, this relates to the visual audio equipment used to broadcast board meetings on Channel 6 and the one broadcasting now. Um, this equipment is, includes cameras, microphones, server, audio, and visual switchers and mixers and other equipment. This was originally stalled in 2010 uh, for um, $289,302. Um, and this equipment is in critical condition because um, it's been used for 10 years. And um, yeah, it's, it's nearing its end of useful life. Um, should an equipment, piece of equipment break down, we could technically pay for repairs, but but um, it may take some time and it will be costly. And um, the longer we keep on using the same equipment, the, uh, the more the price for repairs will rack up. And yeah. um, also the equipment uh, shows poor graphics and it's quite grainy, making the meeting difficult to watch for residents. And yeah. Thank you. I will open it up for questions. Um, I have one. Uh, the, uh, I agree that the footage from this is quite grainy. Would you say that it impacts the public's ability to be informed about the government? Um, I will not necessarily say it impacts, but it deters. Thank you. Any other questions? Oh, I have one. Uh, how much longer do you think your system could go on for, like, five, ten years? Um... Or do you think it's just in really critical condition and it needs to be I, re replaced at the moment? I believe, I mean, it could go on as long as we keep giving repairs, but it'd be better just to replace. How much do repairs normally cost? Repairs normally cost. Well, over the past five years, I suppose, or 10 years, this past 10 years, we spent $25,000 on um, repairs and maintenance already. So. Okay. Thank you. How many people use the utility billing service each year? Oh, this is what we, um, well, I mean, everyone in Wilmet, because um, they, everyone in Wilmet pretty much has a house. Are there problems with it? Oh, the problems with mm -hmm. it? Um, I'm sorry, I can't give you exact number. Okay. Uh, I think what he was getting at is, are there issues with the current, like bugs with the current software that would be fixed, or is it just additional features? Um, features, but these additional features will help improve customer service greatly. Great. Thank you. Uh, we will now hear from the fire chief. Hello. Um, thank you for being here tonight, trustees. My name is Eli Gilbrack-Lundy. I am representing our great town's fire department, and I have two proposals for you tonight. The first of these proposals is a new protective clothing washer dryer. 
Um, our current washer dryer for our protective clothing for our firefighters only washes one set of gear per day and it takes a very long time and it does not clean very thoroughly. So we've seen situations where we'll put it in and put it in for extra long and we take it out and it's still not super clean and uh, that is merely because our current systems do not work. You may think, oh, well, why can't the firefighter just wear it again for the next fire? Because in fires, there are lots of dirty contaminants and carcinogens that can get into these suits. When these carcinogens get in, they can cause many diseases like cancer. And fires, as we all know, are very unsafe environments. And so it is important that, uh, that they have at least a good level of protection in their suit um, when they're being so brave. Um, some benefits of this project. This new one would wash five suits at a time, which is a big, uh, big upgrade from one. Our current washers are almost 20 years old, and as I previously mentioned, they still don't clean, su they don't clean super thoroughly, even with a lot of time. Um, now, after the original purchase and installation cost of approximately $20,000, it would cost maximum annually $500, and that would be for maintenance such as, uh, you know, adjusting things, making sure everything works properly, regular checks. Um, so as you can see, after this $20,000, we would not have to pay much. And the, with the new technology, these new ones would not would last last way longer. So we would not have to purchase another one. So in, if, we, if we purchase this now, then a budget for seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen years won't have to include this because we'll already have it. Um, some alternatives are to continue to use our current equipment. Like I said, not very usable. Um, some parts are no longer replaceable, or you can't, or they don't work properly. So even if it doesn't work properly, you still might not be able to replace it, and that's just because of the manufacturer, and you know they're not be able to make it anymore. Another alternative is to send our gear out to Illinois or Indiana to a third-party cleaner, which is about $500 per suit, not a great use of our money, and takes five days to ship out, have them clean it, and then get it back. And that would also require producing an extra set of gear because if that gear was away, we would still, if there was an emergency, we couldn't just not, we shouldn't just not have gear. So we would have to buy, have even more gear, and this is all adds up uh, to a lot of money, whereas we could just buy this now and be done with it. Emergency alert system. This would be a replacement for our current system, uh, which includes um, phone lines and call uh, from the dispatch center to our firehouses, and that would, uh, you know, make, uh, alert our firemen to the disaster. Uh, this would be more effective and efficient. Uh, many uh, places all over the state and country are switching to this. We would be just another one to upgrade our technological advances. Um, uh, and, you know, a few seconds may not seem like a lot, but in the course of a fire, that's life and death, you know? That could be six seconds could determine whether the firemen are able to get out and then get to the fire site and get in on time, or, you know, they're not able to. Um, the main example for this is last summer there was an issue. Our phone lines went down, and so there always had to be a fireman. And, you know, firemen worked very long shifts, very difficult jobs. They don't really have time, um, but there always had to be someone monitoring either a walkie-talkie or a mobile device because they always had to be on call, and the fire uh, emergency system, system did not work. It was also much slower just because of the technology. Benefits of this. This would cost more now, less later, similar to the uh, fire ex uh, clothing extractor. Um, compared to other costs we would have to make, we would be cost neutral by late 2020, and we would actually make about $50,000 by 2025 compared to what we would have spent. It would cost $56,000 now. Again, sounds like a lot, but when you factor in other costs that could happen if we don't get this, it's worth it. Um, and again, we would just be another one. And unlike the fire clothing extractor, um, lots of, uh, we would not have to do any maintenance. We just get it, install it, and we're good. Um, you know, you might have a tiny issue now and then, but uh, with this new technology, it's awesome. Alternatives. Continue using the one we have now. You know, not great backup. Could end up with a situation like last summer, uh, you know, where you have to have that. And uh, our firemen do not want that to happen. And also, uh, because of this new system, uh, the, the few uh, uh, fire departments that are still using this old system that we currently have, um, the, f the phone, uh, excuse me, the phone systems can jack up their prices because if we're not switching, we're just going to pay more and more for these phone lines, and so that would cost even more. As you can see, both of these options are more pay now, but it would make more sense later down the road. Uh, they are both imperative to the future of our fire department, and I believe that they are both huge help. Thank you.
All right, uh, trustees, any questions? Uh, I have a question. On, do you know how many fires that the firemen have to attend to on average? You mean per year? Um, maybe per month. Um, well, uh, we are very lucky. There, I, I can't name you the exact number right now. I don't have that exact data, but we are very lucky. It was, it is not a huge number, but it is a big enough number. It, it, I mean, we need two firehouses. You know, we need a lot of it. We need a lot of everyone. Every town needs a fire department. So I can't name you the exact number, but it is a relative amount, relatively high amount compared to you know our town and how small it is. I have you know a. How often the a problem like the phone lines going down would occur? Um, yes. Uh, last year was the first in a few years that it had happened, and uh, we attribute that to, A, the phone line's not working. I think there was some uh, pretty bad weather back then. And then also, uh, it's just, like I said, the technology is so old now um, that it just doesn't work as well as it would. So that's why this new technology, this new technology um, has caused maybe like one incident in like maybe 30 firehouses per year, and so it's very good. Um, what technological redundancies does the new alert system have? Um, well, uh, it would, it, again, the cost, and then um, I think it's a little bit more uh, um, reliant on the dispatch center. I meant to say uh, what kind of things would the system have so that if one bit were to fail, what would be the next options? Like a backup. Mm -hmm. What would be the um, backups? I, I'm, well, we are still determining that as a department, but I believe that we there is an option in the installation system to to keep our current one. Again, doesn't work great, right, but if we need it as a backup, I think there's an ability to keep our current one like as like a backup phone separately as like a normal landline phone. And so I think that would be the option, um, but uh, we don't think that would happen very often. Um, regarding the clothing extractor, how long does it currently take to wash one set of clothing? Um, it takes approximately one to three days, depending on how dirty the clothing is, because you can like put it in for a shift, and then it might, you know, not. Like I said, it doesn't clean thoroughly. So, you know, if if you go into a fire and it's like on a mansion, um, and you know, it's tons of flames, it's gonna be pretty. The suit is gonna be pretty dirty. So that would probably take a little longer than if it's a fire that's, you know, no fire is easy. But if it's a fire that is relatively easy to put out, and you, you know, it's like at a street corner or something, and you just. Like, if you, could, if you could choose one of your projects, which one would you choose? I would say um, the clothing extractor is more imperative to the future of our department, and that is just because uh, our current one is at a worse state than our uh, – neither, uh, neither of our current systems are at a good state. That's pretty obvious. Uh, but um, our current one, our current clothing extractor is at a worse state and is working worse and worse every day than the uh, – I, 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 I wouldn't say that we could last a, a few years more with the current phone line system, but um, I think that with repairs uh, we could make it maybe last another year. But I don't think that that's worth it because, like I said, it would just cost more and more. Okay. Um, uh, how much backup gear do you have? Like, does, uh, does a firefighter have backup gear? Um, yes, but we, um, I believe we purchased those at approximately the same time as we purchased our current gear, so that is also uh, deteriorating a little bit. We don't need new gear, though, but um, uh, if we shipped it out to a third-party seller, I, I think we have maybe a couple backup suits, um, just be, and that's just because we don't, ex you know, we don't expect there to be a fire when all of our clothing is getting washed, that we need, like, seven firefighters to have suits. Um, but uh, if we were to send it out every, you know, week or every month, Month to get everything clean, that would require purchasing even more, and that's um, that's just something we just as it as you know with so many projects and so many improvements that we need to make to our town. I don't think that these minor repairs or these minor adjustments or these minor purchases adding up. I don't think that's as good a use of our money as just buying these two imperative things now and letting them work. And then you know that's just clear. Then next year we won't have to deal with this. Uh, right. Do you do you know the price of the suits? Like, could we just buy more suits, or sh would it be well, cheaper um, to buy the... I know they're expensive. Again, can't give you an exact figure just because the technology is changing so much that it could be different one month than the next, and it also depends on, you know, the brand and what extent of the suit we get. But um, it's pretty expensive. Um, uh, it's about... Um, I think I have it here. Yes, if we were to replace all of our suits over the next five to seven years, like in general, it would cost approximately two fifty thousand, and that would be to replace all our suits. So, you know, you can probably tell, not a great use of our money.
Um, does the current system at the fire station effectively remove all toxic products used in actively putting out a fire? No, like I said, it does, and I'm maybe misunderstanding your question, but like I said, it does not clean thoroughly. It does not, um, you know, we, I, I, we've put it in for maybe uh, five days, still notice some dirty stuff on it. So, no, it, it is not uh, thorough. But the new one would be. Great, thank you. Uh, we will hear from our last department, water management. Hi. So I have two projects to present to you today, the first of which is a heating system upgrade for our water plant. So currently, the water plant system that we have now is very old. It's 63 years old. It's in desperate need of a renovation. So over the past five years, there have been um, a lot of maintenance, and that's very expensive. So we estimate that there have been over 100 system steam traps that are malfunctioning or broken. And just to repair one of those is $250. That's a lot added up. So basically, this boiler, it covers the heat for the mo most of the plant. And that plant helps the residents, it heats their water, right? So if our boiler fails, everyone's boiler fails. So I think we owe it to the citizens to update it and make sure it works. So uh, its condition is high. Its, th its reliable life has been exceeded. And there are many, as I mentioned before, maintenance needs. Um, there's a moderate safety hazard because the pipes could break in cold weather, which we've had a lot of. And yeah, so that's the first project. The next is to upgrade our meter for Glencoe. As many of you know, we sell water to Glenview. And basically, we count how much water we're selling by meters. And the current one we have, so we've already updated two of them, so we have four. We've updated two of them, they work fine. We updated them in 2016. If they don't need maintenance works for another 15, 30 years, so it's an excellent investment. Um, but current, our other two have not been updated and they count our water for us. And if we don't update them, we could be losing money. We could be selling way more money. Sorry, we could be selling far more, mo far more water and then getting not enough money. So this, sorry, I forgot to mention for the past, for the other project I mentioned, mentioned the, the whole thing would cost $130,000, a lot. But, um, and then the meter in all would cost from, it would cost um, $35,000. And an alternative to the meter would be to postpone it, but it would lead to loss of rent of you because we, would, we don't know if we're selling them too much for too small a price. And then an, an alternative to updating our boiler system would be to postpone the replacement. But as I said before, the maintenance is awful for this current one, and the bills would just add up. Yeah, All any right. questions? Great, thank you. Um, yeah, questions? Um, so on our sheet, the heating system upgrade costs 150000 and you said it cost 130000 Is there like yeah. a difference? Obviously, there's a difference in uh, money. But yeah, on my sheet, it says the estimated cost for this project is 100 and Ah. Yep, I'm um, sorry. I made a mistake, 150000 um, if you had to choose between the two, which one would you decide? Which one is more crucial? I think, I personally believe that the meter upgrade is more crucial 
because we could potentially be lo losing money that we could spend on other projects. Do you know how much money we make from Glenview selling water to them? I don't know the exact number, sorry. Do you have any idea how much that figure is being impacted by the loss of, of, by the, loss of the meter upgrade? I don't, sorry. Okay. Do you think we could postpone the heating system upgrade for, say, a year? I wouldn't think so because, as I said before, maintenance is very expensive. And if we postponed it even more than we already have, it would cost a lot. Is it possible for it to break down? Parts of it have already started to break down. I know, but like the whole thing in general? I'm not sure. I don't work. How long does one meter last? Sorry? How long does one meter last? I have, oh, um, 15 to 20 years. So we wouldn't have to do any more upgrades to these meters for 15 to 20 years? No, no replacements. Um, when was the last time we did upgrade these meters? The last time we up upgraded them, well, the f well, when we changed to the new ones, it was in t 2012. Okay. But, yeah. Right. Um, great. Thank you. All right. We have now heard from all five presenters, that, or four presenters. Thank you. Um, I will now open it up for motions to approve any of these items. I move to approve the council chamber audiovisual for 80,000. I second that. Uh, is there any discussion? Um, I have personally watched these meetings on Channel 6, and I can tell you that the quality of them is very poor and very grainy, and I feel like we owe it to our citizens to be able to watch these in a comfortable environment. Um, are we ready to vote? Mm -hmm. All right. Trustee Garou? No. Trustee Jack Hirschley? Aye. Trustee Parker Hirschley? Aye. Trustee Mosier? Nay. Trustee Mitty? No. Trustee Semple? No. Trustee Smith? Aye. Um, I also vote aye, bringing the tally to 4-4. Um, four, four. Uh, the motion fails. Um, I move for protective clothing extractor for $20,000. I, I second. second that. I second, second that. Second that. I second. Looks like we have a lot of seconds um, and thirds and fourths. Would any, uh, does anyone have any discussion of this? I think that we owe it to those who protect our village to keep them safe while they're doing the job of risking their lives for us. So I think that we should get this clothing extractor so that they can stay healthy and maintain a good environment in Wilmette. Absolutely. Um, is, it, if, is everyone ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Trustee Garou? Uh, aye. Trustee Jack Hirschley? Aye. Trustee Parker Hirschley? Aye. Trustee Thomas Mosier? Aye. Trustee Mitty? Aye. Trustee Semple? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. I also vote aye, bringing the tally uh, to unanimously the motion carries. I move to put the next generation nine, um, 911. I second that. I second that. All right. Um, is there any discussion? I feel like it doesn't cost as much money as the other ones, so it seems like a sound investment. Good investment, absolutely. Um, also, um, now everyone is carrying around with them a cell phone, and sometimes we may not know where we are or how to, how to signal for help, so if all we can do is call 911, it would be extraordinarily helpful if they could locate us. It makes us safer. Definitely. I think, um, oh, I think that those extra seconds could be very helpful to the people and the risk of their lives, and the fire department needs to be there uh, at the time being, so those extra seconds could really help. Absolutely. Um, Trustee Garou? Aye. Trustee Her Jack Hirschley? Aye. Trustee Parker Hirschley? Aye. Trustee Mosier? Aye. Trustee Mitty? Aye. Trustee Semple? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. I also vote aye, once again unanimously carrying for $15,000. I move to up to uh, to approve the util utility building billing software. 
I second that. I second that. Is there any discussion? Uh, I feel that this is a relatively inexpensive way that we can update uh, services for our citizens and provide um, services that they that they depend on us for. I think it still works. So while we have other, imp I think, more important issues on our agenda. Right. Are we ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Okay. Trustee Garou. Nay. Trustee Hershley. Nay. Trustee, Par sorry, Trustee Parker Hershley. Nay. Trustee Thomas Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Nay. Trustee Smith. Nay. I vote aye. The motion fails. Uh, I move to for the four squad cars. I second that. Is there any discussion? I the feel like I feel like we should only uh, be getting two, because I don't think it's essential right now for us to have four new squad cars. Is that a motion to adopt, to uh, to adjust the motion? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I second that. I second that. I second. All right. Uh, two squad cars, that's $39,000 each. Um, is there a discussion? I think we should do the four because with this actually keeps us safe as citizens, and it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, I believe this is a good compromise between what the, what the police department is asking for and what is reasonable. Um, note that if this motion fails, we may still approve a motion for all four cars. Um, Trustee Guru. Nay. Trustee Her Jack Hershley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee T Mosier. Aye. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. I vote nay. The motion carries. Um, if Trustee Smith would uh, tell us the total that we are at. Um, we are currently at... Um, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> we need to have been keeping track of this. Um, while she updates us on that, um, I move to adopt the uh, salt brine machine for 71000 I second that. I second that. I second that. Um, I feel that this is a way that we can reduce our overall salt usage by preparing for snowstorms. I think it's better because, like, if we have a, if we actually have a salt brine machine, we can actually make salt brine instead of purchasing and making salt brine. So I think it's just an easier way to make salt brine. Yeah. I agree. That could save us much more money in the future. Is there any further discussion? Trustee Guru. Aye. Trustee Jack Hershley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. I vote aye. The motion carries. I move to adopt the Glenview meter upgrade. Seeing no second, the motion fails. Are there any more motions? Uh, how much money do we have? We are currently mm -hmm. at 1013 oh, Great. Great. We have uh, three quarters of our money left. I, I motion for the fire station alerting system. I second. I second that. I second, second that. that. Is second. there a discussion? Um, I feel that these seconds uh, in this alerting equipment can be valuable in saving lives and that we owe it to our firefighters to get them the very best equipment that we can. I agree. I agree. I think it will be a lot faster and more effective. Definitely. Um, uh, is there any further discussion? Trustee Guru. Aye. Trustee Jack Hershley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Aye. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. I also vote aye. The motion unanimously carries. Um, all right. I move to purchase the large dump truck for $177,000. I second that. I second that. Is there discussion? Okay. Um, Trustee Guru. Nay. Trustee Jack Hershley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Nay. Trustee Smith. Nay. I vote aye. Bringing the tally to 4-4, the motion fails. 
Um, I move for the Glenview meter meter upgrade. Second. I st okay. Uh, we did already vote on that. Would we like to re-vote on that? Okay, we may as well. Um, any discussion? <laughs> okay, I guess um, we can vote again. Trustee Guru. Nay. Trustee Hirsch Jack Hershley. Nay. Trustee Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Nay. Trustee Smith. Nay. I vote aye. The motion once again fails. <laughs> um, I move that we adopt the heating system upgrade for $150,000. I second that. I second that. Is there discussion? All right. Trustee Guru. Nay. Trustee Jack Hershley. Nay. Trustee Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Nay. Trustee Smith. Aye. I vote nay. The motion fails. Um, I would remind us that we have now gone through um, every project. Is that correct? Yes. Wait, what do we do with the dump truck? No. Oh, nay. Okay. Um, and we still have how much? We uh, over half of our funds. Would you like to re-vote on some things? I, I say we should look at the four squad cars again. Is there a second? I second that. All right. I think we should have four because we don't want to have two that are more equipped and then two that are not as equipped. If we're going to do it, I think we should do it fully. Yes. Um, I feel in the future, like, if we have, like, we could say, we could also save more lives. We could protect more people in our village. I just think it's better for everyone. I disagree. I feel that if we, if the, they said that um, at least two squad cars would be okay, and if this is what they can function with, that we should use the money for other departments. Uh, in addition, each car is rather pricey. Um, is there any further discussion? Um, since we have a lot of money left, could we, like, settle for three squad cars? Um, I second that. I second, I that. second that. I second Great. that. Uh, let's vote on that. Uh, Trustee Guru. Aye. Trustee Jack Hershley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Aye. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. I vote nay. The motion carries. Um, I move that we revisit the council chamber audiovisual. I second that. Okay. Um, like I said before, I feel we owe it to our citizens to give them a wonderful in an environment with which they can view these meetings from home and see all of our lovely faces. I also agree with that. I, I believe they already can see us and in their own home. It works. It's not broken. So I think we should keep it as is for now. Um, if you view these meetings on TV, um, there is a bar that scrolls through the screen, and it's rather grainy. So yes, they can see, um, but there are problems with it. But they can still hear everything and see what's happening. They can, but this would uh, allow them to do that in greater detail, and maybe provide uh, maybe provide an incentive for more of them to do so. Uh, are we ready to vote? Do we know how many people watch? Uh, I do not have the statistics on that. Um, we are a town of 20,000 people, many of which are eating dinner at this time. I just don't feel <laughs> like a lot of people are watching this. Well, should we? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's that interesting. <laughs> well, um, we, give, we should give them that option, even if many of it them are works, so doing yes. other things with their time. Uh, Trustee Guru. Nay. Trustee Hershley. Nay. Trustee uh, Parker Hershley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Nay. Trustee Semple. Nay. Trustee Smith. Aye. I vote aye. The motion fails. Um, what's our money total? Uh, we are at a total of $286,400. Great. Um, would anyone like to revisit another project? I move we re revisit the Glenview meter upgrade for $35,000. <laughs> Did we second that? Wait, did we I second do that? that? Did we pass that? We've already done that twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything we have not done three times? Let's see. We have, how much do we have? Um, we have $110,000 left, approximately. Um, let's see. It looks like there are very few things we can actually afford we can afford the council chamber AV, the utility billing software, and the Glenview meter upgrade. Um, 
two of those projects we can afford. Does anyone move to? Uh, I move for the utility building project. I second that. I second that. I second that. Is there a discussion? Seeing none, as we have already voted on this matter. <laughs> Trustee Guru. Aye. Trustee Jack Hirschley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hirschley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Nay. Trustee Semple. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. I vote aye. The motion carries. Um, is our total at? Okay, we have enough money left to do either the council chamber AV or the Glenview meter upgrade. We cannot do both. Um, we have already voted on these measures, but if anyone would like to reintroduce them. I would like to reintroduce the Glenview meter upgrade. I second that. I second that. Is there discussion? <laughs> uh, see none. <laughs> okay, Trustee Guru. Aye. Trustee Jack Hirschley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hirschley. Aye. Trustee Mosier. Nay. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Aye. Trustee Smith. Nay. I vote aye. The motion carries. Um, I will point out we ha do have money left to purchase um, a fourth squad car, if anyone is in favor of that. Uh, I say we should do that. Okay, I second, second that. that. I second that. Uh, is there second discussion? That. Okay. Um, Trustee Guru. Aye. Trustee Jack Hirschley. Aye. Trustee Parker Hirschley. Aye. Trustee Thomas Mosier. Aye. Trustee Mitty. Aye. Trustee Semple. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. I also vote aye. The motion carries. Um, that brings us to a total of $385,150. Um, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'm, I second that. Wait, I do I have a motion to adjourn? I motion. Oh, I move adjourn. Okay, do I have a second? I second that. I second uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? This convenes the meeting.